We're bringing him back. Gebdul. We're against Changa. Okay, okay, okay. Changa does good against a lot of Guardians. I think Geb will be okay. Uh, she does better against other Guardians than some, but it, it depends. I have fought, like, including today's stream, I fought, like, six Changas today, but that's besides the point. Ymir does good against Changa, but that's a whole different match that I mean, I would love to show one day. Because I used to have a hard time with it. Any match I used to have a hard time with and then learn a trick, those are full gameplays that I like to show. However, this is good to know. Um, I don't know if I want to do it on Geb, though. But I always do this on Ymir, and it's helped me, but it's not the key to winning the game. Whenever Changa uses her 2, you pop Horrific. She has nothing she can do until she gets Sprint. Like, she can't- she's just a sitting duck. She can ult you, yeah, whatever. You, you can use the opportunity to get out or commit to her and kill her. That works very well in Ymir because of Ymir's autos, but as Geb, maybe. Kind of tempted to get my shield because of her poke early. Chunga pokes harder than most gods. But, yeah, we'll get our shield. I don't want her to poke me. It's like, plus she'd probably block my one anyways. We are going to go auto attack Geb. I do think auto attack is superior against Chunga. She just used her escape, but we're not going to verific her and her minions. Let's back up. We're going to lose the early. Pretty sure mid to late we take this as long as we get all of our auto attack items. Like Toxic Blade, Demonic, Hastened, Telekines, all that good stuff. All that good juicy stuff. Okay, she is healing and doing so much damage. Do not like fighting Chunga as a guardian, except Ymir. Wow, that damage. She has hit me six times with that ability. Such a low cooldown. Luckily, Chunga has no sustain with that early build, with that build start. No mana sustain, I should say, unless she uses her passive to buy potions. I'm actually gonna pop Horrific here. I don't get that much out of it, but I mean, she's out. She's completely out of mana. She has to use her. I'm guessing she got a mana potion. Oh, she got a mana chalice. That's smart. That is smart. All right. Get a mana chalice. Okay. That's gonna take forever for you to put get your your stuff online though. Got her beats. We're just gonna back right now because she can't take red buff. There's no way, even with that mana chalice. That is gonna take a long time for her to get that uh. That Book of Thoth online. It's gonna take 300 gold longer. I'm about it. We are gonna go for our mana buff because she's probably gonna go for hers. Best tip I can give for Geb is his autos are amazing. His autos chunk, okay? G going auto attack Geb is superior in duel. Just using auto attacks between every single thing you do. And the second biggest tip is, I've said this before, is with his ultimate, you alt them. Auto, auto, too. You know, you don't want to take them out of the stun, or you don't want to knock them up right away while they're stunned. You want to keep them CC'd as long as possible, which means knocking them up right as the stun ends. She is taking red. So she didn't go for her blue buff. Well, maybe I can go for it. I mean, can I, though? Let's poke her down a little bit more before we go for it. Okay. Okay, okay. She got two... <laughs> Two chalices, okay. All right, two chalices, eh? Let's see if I can get minis. There we go. Our two does more damage the closer we are to our enemy. Also, I don't know if I can take this. I don't think I'd take this blue buff now because I don't have Bancrofts. But oh, that was that was risky. The reason it was risky is because her two was still up, and it was like she had an opportunity to immune my ult. If she did, I would have knocked her up or just tried to roll out. But it was risky. We were able to get the stun off, and then once the stun got off, I knew that I could just go and uh, smack her with my two right next to her. And again, it does tons of damage the closer you are to her. And that's why we were able to get that kill. Very risky. Very risky stuff. But I say this as Guardians, you have to play risky because if you just if you just play safe all game long as a Guardian, 
guess what? Like, your opponent's gonna be the same gold as you and you're never gonna win the game. You need a lead as Guardians to win. I mean, I've had comeback games as Guardians. They're just so much rarer. And the only way you come back is if your opponent misplays. That, and it's not on you, it's on your opponent then. That's why I always like playing Risky as Guardians. Good damage. The Bancrofts gives us tons of damage. She barely got her Book of Filth online now. Still no boots. I mean, try to go in with our ult here, try and bait her beats. That's probably what I'm gonna do. Or not. <laughs> now, usually I hold on to my my two, like I was saying, until they're out of the stun, but I just full, I fully expect her to beat it, you know? So I was like, might as well get all my damage out as fast as possible. And now she didn't beat it and she just got blown up. This is good. This means we are gonna get our build online. I'm almost certain we will get our build online, which is gonna be consist of hasten ring and, you know, just auto attack in general. I don't know what second relic I'll get. Could be a lot of different things. If I could bait her her two here, that'd be amazing. That'd be amazing. Please use your two. Please use your two. Please use your two. Well, there it is. Now, Horrificer. I, I can't do it. Nope. No. Okay, we're fine. I was gonna smack her, but then she healed, and I don't have no mana. Unfortunate. That's fine, though. Ooh, you know what? Too risky. I'll just go over here. Too risky, I'm not about uh, losing my lead. Hey, okay, all right, listen here. Listen here. Surprised I can fight, I hate that skin. Okay, we're gonna get cooldown boots, even though auto attack, usually pen boots are better. Cooldown is just too good on get because the more you have your shield, the you are mitigating so much damage with the shield. I am prioritizing my shield over my one again. People criticize me on that, but I think it's I do think it's better for boxing. You are taking you're preventing so much damage with this. We're not gonna be able to properly fight her until we have a lot of auto attack. Okay. She just stood still and took it. We're gonna need some anti heal. Oh, you skipping boots. All right, if she's skipping boots, we need to go into PvE mode. Because <clears throat> she fully intends to just sit in tower and get her build online. And our job is to punish that. If you're not going to get boots, we're going to show you why boots are a must-buy, all right? She's going to go for a blue buff right now, but I'm fast enough to stop her, I hope. No. Okay, that's fine. It sucks, but it's fine. My job right now is to take as many buffs as possible, including minis so right now she has two buffs because of red buff but i do have my blue buff and everything else bad beats but it doesn't really cost her her life if she backs here she loses a good amount of minions so that's good for me because again she doesn't have boots so she'll come back slow let's go take minis we just got hunter's blessing involved which is amazing hunter's blessing out of all of the Evolved Blessings in Duel, I think Hunter's Blessing is kind of the best. It just, it takes so long to get. It's like, most of the time, not worth it. It's always like, why get Hunters when you get Attackers, which evolves like right away. <clears throat> but once Hunter's Blessing evolves, I do think it's better. All right, we are gonna go Ganges or Void or Pestilence. Let's just try Pestilence. Pestilence gives the most magical protections. I guess Void would've been good since she's skipping boots. All right. Get some nice damage here with my enhanced autos. Oh, come on. You saving your ult to try and get away? She was just trying to clear the wave before she died. I think she knew she was dead. Can I go for bull? You know what? Can I go for bull team? She would never expect it. She would never expect it. I do have up uh, Hunter's Blessing. Hunter's Blessing and Bancroft's, and it's pretty early into the game, so bull demon doesn't have that much health. 
Assuming that she does go straight to lane, I think I should be able to take this. Oh, she's not in lane. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. Get a nice 100 gold out of that. Let's get Pestilence. And Blink. I think Blink's second route would be amazing here. Basically, force out her escape. Blink on her. She is about to get her beats. Or I mean, her sprint. Which, if she gets sprint, that's fine. Hasten Ring will be able to deal with that. The only time I buy Hasten Ring is against Hell and Chunga. Because those gods just lose to auto attacks. Or things that... Gods that stick to you. That was not what you should have done, my friend. Oh, I tried to ult there because I knew she was going to ult. I sure was going to. I do feel like we can kill her, though. Otherwise, I would not chase her here. I'm almost certain we can kill her just because she does not have that much movement speed. She doesn't. All right, now we just wait for our two. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We are wasting bull demon time, but if we get the kill, it's worth. There we go. You need that movement speed, man. You need it. Now we can take tower in peace. 18 seconds, but we have a full minion wave. This should be ours. Especially with Hunter's Blessing. I love auto attack get, man. Nice. Um, her blue buff should be up. Hmm. Do I go for it though? I might be able to steal it. Yeah, I think I'll. I'll think I'll just try to steal it because she's gonna go for it right now. Ah, oh, she still got it. Whatever. I probably will go Toxic Blade next because she doesn't have any protections, so the flat pan will be nice. And it'll give a ton of attack speed. All right, now that she has boots, she's kind of annoying. So yeah, toxic, toxic blade will be good. I'm gonna ignore her. She's, she's just doing her dances, whatever. I honestly do not mind if you do your dances. Did I not pick it up? Hello, give me this. But can I fight her is the question. Telling you that horrific's so good. Whoa, you are moving kind of sporadically. Whoa, you are moving very sporadically. You are moving extremely sporadically. Oh, dang it. Let's just kill her with our blink. Unfortunate waste of a blink, but um... That was super weird right here. She was moving kind of weird. Don't know if that was just me or if it was just kind of weird. What's my ping at? Only 100 ping. All right, let's back. Oh, wait, red buff's up. Give me that tasty red buff. Now, but one reason I'm posting a lot of YouTube videos right now is because I'm going on break uh, from December 27th till... January 5th, and I want to make sure to have a bunch of games recorded for then and just in advance, you know, to post during that time because I won't be active on Twitch and, you know, I'm more active on Twitch than YouTube. So since I won't be able to be on Twitch, you know, I might as well post as much content as possible on YouTube. This makes the most sense to me. This Tox play is going to help so much. Now, she is going defense, so either a Demonic or Hasten Ring could be good next. I'm not entirely sure. Yo, are you proxing me? Somebody's proxing me. Okay. Now, are you going to back? No, you're not going to back. Okay. I think she expected me to go for Bull Demon. Okay. Yeah, you just use your escape. Too bad I don't have Horrific right now. Ah, my nose it itches. Okay. All right, listen. Should be able to get her. We're slightly faster. Come on, use that too. I know you want to. She knows when she uses that too, she's dead. 
You realize that even if, uh, even if you kill my minions here, you're not getting away. Okay, maybe she will get away. Ah, <sighs> my plan was to go straight for Boldyman once I killed her, but now it might be too low. Let's try it anyways. I'm gonna try it anyways. We do have a lot of auto attack damage plus the healing from Bancrofts and Chows. We'll see. I'm gonna use my shell after the first slam to get the most out of it. Holding on to my abilities isn't too smart just because uh, I don't have Polly. There's no reason to. All right, we are able to get him. Good stuff. Yep, and she knew I was going straight for it, but glad I made the decision when I did. And we will be able to finish Demonic. Okay, this is good. We should. This I keep saying we should too much. Why am I doing that? My brain is short-circuiting. Okay. The plan right now is to go over here, clear wave. If she runs past me, or if she's like, hey, look at me, you can kill me, ignore her. This is different from when I took Boldy Moon at the tower. When I took Boldy Moon from towers, I knew I could kill her, so I went for her because she didn't have boots. Right now, I cannot guarantee a kill on her on the off chance that she simply uh, she simply runs away with her movement speed. Plus, if we get on this at immediately, uh, we have enough damage to take it with or without minions. Whereas if we dilly daddled, we would not. Still want to clear minions though. We're gonna have to try and get her to back off here though. At least a little bit. There we go, got her down to half health. She's not really gonna wanna stay. If she does, we can kill her once our abilities come up. I hate when my autos desync like this. She doesn't have alt, come on, smack, yes. Unstoppable, the perfect smack. Wait, is you still attacking me? Whoa, 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 Titan, we good, we good. And that is the power of auto attack Geb. One of my favorite god and builds. Auto attack anything's fun, but auto attack Geb, his auto attacks, they come out so fast, so fast. They hit hard, they come out fast, and they have a long after animation, which is what you cancel, which makes it even better. So he's, he's just good all around. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. I'm going to go show the stats real quick. Um, again, thank you for all the support. I hope you guys enjoyed the game. I'll see you guys next time. Let me close all this. I don't care about the paddle pass. All right, GG.